Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. Today we're going to demonstrate the ice maker. And Walter's been opening cabinets and finally found it. He's going to demonstrate it for you. And where it's going to go is right here. Because Walter sits over there. We can just Exterior packaging, blah blah blah. Open cover, remove ice basket, and pour water into tank. Keep water level below the water mark. Remove the tapes. No oh, CD tape. Do you see tape? I don't know how this works. I don't see any tape. Okay. What do you pour it in? Does it say that you pour it in? You just pour it from the bottom? We have visitors. We have visitors. We have to stop taping. Hello. Hi Hello. there. Oh, you need to give them the pass. Oh, he's filming. Are we going to be recorded? Uh, we're not. We had an interruption and a visitor, my sister, my mother, and my brother-in-law, and it was wonderful to have them, and now we're back to Ice Maker. So back to step number one. Open the cover, remove the ice bucket, and pour the water into the tank, and keep the water level below the water level mark. Now, inside, there is no water level mark. So, we go back to the instructions, and it says maximum water level number seven, and it points to this little spot right there. Instructions can be very helpful. Where's the water? Is there one water level mark? So, oh, right, right there. down here. It's right there. Yeah, like you could see that. Well, well, well if they marker through it. If they made it black or red or yellow or blue, then there would be a mark. They've made it for blind people. Button. Okay, I have done step one. I don't see an off button. Keep on. water level below watermark. Next, press power button on the control panel to begin the ice making cycle. It doesn't say to close the top. I'm going to go ahead and Where's the control panel? do oh, that. There. Now I'm going to press the power button. Of course, that's this one right here in the middle that says power. Well, why don't you press the on-off button first? Okay, I pressed the on-off button first. It doesn't say to do that. And now it's actually doing things in there. Pieces are moving around inside. Select the ice cube size by the select size button. So, you can select small or large. We're not even going to go into which one some people might want. We're going to leave it on large. Ice making lasts approximately 6 to 13 minutes depending on selection of ice cube size, room temperature, and the recommended room temperature is between 50 Fahrenheit and 105 Fahrenheit, which, for those who are Fahrenheit challenged, is 10 Celsius and 40 Celsius. Okay, that should be it. It should work now. We'll show you the results in 6 to 13 minutes. Thank you. Yes.
have success. We have ice cubes. I'm excited. I will have very cold water and I'm very happy. Thank you, Ben, for the gift. The ice cube maker works beautifully and I'm very happy. Have a great day.